Next Sunday, it'll be time for palm leaves and cheering, a very public welcoming of Jesus into Jerusalem. Noise, clamour, the celebrity moment that is Palm Sunday. And it would be very easy for us to scoop from the delights, the daffodils and joy of the fourth Sunday of Lent, Mothering Sunday, to the unadulterated excitement of Palm Sunday. But first comes something entirely different, for suddenly confronting us is crucifixion. Well, we didn't expect death on a cross. Surely that comes later, two weeks later. And anyway, shouldn't it be on a Friday and not on a Sunday? Just when we were beginning to enjoy ourselves with cake and wine, making Lent livable, taking up the things we gave up in the first place, along comes all of this, well, morbid stuff. I mean, who needs a crucifixion when you're buying Easter eggs? No celebrating and cheering here, so we turn our heads away. We walk by, as did many around Golgotha, unable to look, witness, only tears, weeping, solitude and pain. And it was about noon. And darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon, when the sun's light failed. In F.N. Sousa's painting, The Crucifixion, we find a linking of East and West. For his Goan Indian background, together with his own artistic development, meant that Sousa was always a full-blooded painter, producing rather well bloody crucifixions. Here is no passive Jesus on the cross, head hanging as if separated from his suffering. Jesus' head is held high, eyes wide open, mouth formed as if in a scream, staring into the joy and sorrow of this world, his creation. Here is a truly human Jesus wrapped in the imagery of 20th century expressionism. We look. We see no medieval wall hanging, but one that has the power to shock and ask us questions. Yet our Lenten pilgrimage invites us to follow the man Jesus to his ignominy, a painful death on a cross, stuck on a dung heap. For all the light, joy, cheering and celebration of Mothering Sunday and Palm Sunday, here is what our journey calls us to ultimately confront. And it was about noon, and darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon while the sun's light failed. <laughs>